could have been much worse right if that place. went through the ice. Yeah, glad it's okay. And right yeah. place at the right time for Absolutely. that guy. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm not always in the right place at the right time around here. It's okay. <laughs> Doing my best this morning. And, it's uh, early. It's almost Friday. We're getting there, right? It's almost Friday. Oh, I thought it <laughs> was. I thought it was. Should we sing Friday your favorite you. song, Brian? Well, you were singing it earlier, that, that horrible Friday. 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 Getting down a Friday. I'm that a one? proponent of singing. I love singing. But not that song. But not that song. <laughs> not that song. Well, it is a Thursday. Uh, the famous Idaho Potato Bowl tonight. Friday tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe for some of you, this is your Friday. So yeah. enjoy the long holiday weekend. If you've got it, if you're traveling, I'd say hit the roads the earlier the better. So uh, let's take a look outside. A foggy start for you. Uh, but the weather we've been having around here, the clear skies and those very cold temperatures, along with some of that freezing fog, has made for some gorgeous scenes out there across the Treasure Valley. So if you ever have other pictures like this, uh, just glistening there in the blue sky, if you ever want to send things like this to us, weather at kboy2.com is that address. Your forecast right now, we're at 16 degrees, so another cold start this morning. Could see some similar scenes out there. Blue sky is expected for your Thursday. Eight mile an hour winds, though, make it feel like five degrees. That's the story across the Treasure Valley. And on the satellite radar, you can see it actually picking up a lot of this fog that's spreading more widespread and up into the uh, mountain valleys up near McCall too could become more widespread. It's going to be a thick blanket of fog in some areas. It is dense right now. We're actually doing a little bit better uh, than we were at most parts yesterday. There is one dense little pocket here in between Nampa and Caldwell, but visibility down to about three miles out of the Caldwell airport. Pretty dense fog up in McCall at this moment too. We'll be keeping an eye on that. That winter or sorry, that dense fog advisory in effect with us until about 11 o'clock this morning. Otherwise, looking at a high of 26 degrees today, sunshine for the first part of the afternoon, gradually increasing clouds as we head through the day and into the evening. Overall, very cold for your Thursday. Temperatures in the mid-20s for your afternoon highs will quickly drop into the teens as the potato bowl gets going. U of I, Colorado State fans, bundle up, starting at 20, dropping to about 13 by the time that game wraps up. We know a lot of you are traveling for the Christmas holiday, the Christmas weekend. Uh, so far, things looking pretty good out at the Boise Airport. A little bit foggy at times this morning. Things looking good across the region. No major delays to speak of at this point. Who wants to go to Phoenix with me? 61 degrees and it is only about, well, what, 6.20 in the morning? Uh, certainly going to be a warm day for them down there. On the satellite and radar, quiet across our immediate region in the Pacific Northwest, picking up on a little bit of this fog. So if you are traveling, I think today's a good day to do it. It's pretty clear, but we're going to see that next storm slowly creeping in, gradually making its way inland to, through the Pacific Northwest and into the Intermountain West as we head into tomorrow. Early tomorrow morning, travel could be a problem through eastern Oregon and up into Washington if you're hitting the roads. For us here, I think the immediate impacts will more move in for us Friday morning and into Friday afternoon. This particular model showing the snow could start up for us Friday morning. It'll be widespread snow showers up in our mountains. We could mix it in with a little bit of rain around here Saturday evening, but I think this will more be an on and off snow event Friday lasting into Saturday. For the most part, amounts will be light, more widespread and a little bit heavier snowfall possible up in some of our mountains. So take note of that if you are traveling to the high country uh, for your Christmas, spending that up in McCall, Sun Valley, or one of your favorite mountain locations. For the most part, I think this storm will be said and done as we head late Saturday night into early Sunday morning, so it should clear up just in time for Santa. Before that, though, count on snow showers on and off throughout the day Friday, and Saturday could see about one to three inches here in the valley, but we'll keep you posted on that this afternoon, too. Next chance the snow comes Tuesday, but we'll get a couple dry days in there for Christmas Day and early next week. Guys?